I just live my life how I live as a person. I certainly am not, like, a saint or an angel by any means. I'm not anything like that. But I live just how I live. I mean, I have a little paranoia, but that's about it. You know how sports teach kids teamwork and how to be strong and brave and confident? Improv was my sport. I learned how to not waffle and how to hold a conversation, how to take risks and actually be excited to fail. When I look back, I don't have regrets. In the moment I am really, really hard on myself, I'm definitely my own worst critic and can be my own worst enemy, and I'm trying very hard not to be that. Just because I don't have a college degree doesn't mean I am not smart. I was a good-looking kid. I never felt, like, dorky. I was just like, yep, these are my braces. I've had them forever. If I feel strongly about anything, I get overwhelmed with emotion. Comedy was my sport. It taught me how to roll with the punches. Failure is the exact same as success when it comes to comedy because it just keeps coming. It never stops. It's definitely a shock to go from being 15 in high school to working. There's no real cushion there. There's no preparation at all. You learn by doing. So one day, in a fit of trying to do something different, I just dyed my hair dark brown and got my first role a week later, after which I thought, people are closed-minded, man. Like a different hair color changes everything. Drama is hard for me. Crying is much harder for me than laughter. I think women should wear whatever makeup they want for themselves. Makeup should be fun. I think there are plenty of soulmates out there. That's what I choose to believe. At first, when you go to premieres and award shows, you're thinking, how the hell am I here? All these people I've never met are here, and it's so cool. And then, as time goes on, it's a little bit like, ah, it's more like work. You won't hear me saying I have no body issues because I wouldn't be human if I didn't. <laughs>